in this video tutorial you learn how to crochet this flower I hope you enjoy this video to begin this flower we must chain six we'll join these two ends together with a slip stitch and then in this small loop we'll make 12 single crochets so we'll chain one and then we'll make 12 single crochets So 11 and 12. Now we will slip stitch these two ends together and then we will chain one and then we will make one half double crochet in this back post. We will make one double crochet in the same post. And then we'll make two double crochets in each post round. So two double crochets in each back post. This flower has two parts. So right now we are making a foundation flat part and then after we finish this we will start making a fluffy part. So this completes our second row. For our third row we'll make two double crochets in this back post and then we'll make one double crochet. Two double crochet in one chain and then one double crochet in the second chain. So we're increasing now. So this completes our third row. We will make two double crochets in one chain. We are still working only on the back post. And then we'll make one double crochet in the next chain and one double crochet in the second chain then we'll make two double crochets in the same chain one double crochet in one chain in the second chain one more double crochet then two double crochets in the same chain continue this throughout this row. To finish row 4 we will need to make one half double crochet in next stitch then one single crochet in next stitch and then we will make a slip stitch in next stitch. Foundation for our flower is finished. Now we will make uh, the second part of this flower. Now for our second part of the flower we will just work on these circles. Here we will start from this small circle. Wrap the yarn around our hook. Then chain one. Then go in the same stitch. Wrap the yarn around our hook and 
pull through two. So now we'll chain three and in this same chain we'll make a treble crochet. On this second chain here we will make two treble crochets in that small space. Then on our next chain we will make one treble crochet. Then we will chain three and we will make a single crochet into the same chain. So this is how our first petal looks. Don't worry, it will look better. So now we will make a single crochet in the next chain. Then we'll chain three. We'll make a triple crochet into that same space. Then we'll make two triple crochets into next chain. We will make one treble crochet in the next chain and then we will chain three and make single crochet into that same chain. That completes our second petal. For our third petal we will repeat the same thing. On our next chain we will make a single crochet, then we will chain three make triple crochet into a same chain into a next chain we will make two triple crochets it gets easier this first row of petals is a little more difficult but it gets easier make one triple crochet into the next chain then chain three make a single crochet into the same chain in the next chain make a single crochet now we are going towards second row make a single crochet in the next chain then chain three make one triple crochet in the same chain we'll make two triple crochet in the next chain then we'll make one triple crochet in the next chain chain three and then make a single crochet in the same chain we are already moving towards uh, row two so pretty much you just have to repeat row one and just work on these uh, front posts all the way around and then when I'm in the final row I'll come and show you the rest I'm almost done with my flower, so just same as before. In the next stitch, we'll make single crochet, then chain three, make a triple crochet in the same stitch, then 
and then in the next stitch we will make two treble crochets we will make one treble crochet in the next stitch and we will chain three make a single crochet in the same stitch we only have one more pattern left My flower is finished and this is how it looks on the front and this is how it looks on the back. I just have to weave these ends in and then I'll be done. If you want to make this flower bigger then just make one extra row here on when we make our foundation part. I hope this video tutorial was helpful and easy enough to follow. Thanks for watching!